Okay, what is a function? <clears throat> well, if you want the definition, it's a correspondence that assigns each element x from a set d called the domain to exactly one element y of a set r called the range. And it's actually a one-to-one -one function if it has the additional property that each element from the range is assigned to exactly one element in the domain. So we'll start with a silly example. Suppose a dance involves six people, three guys and three girls. We'll say set D is the guys, Sam, Joe, and Bob, and set R is the girls, Lou, Mary, and Kay. If we pair the people like this, we say Sam dates Lou, or Joe dates Mary, and Bob dates Kay, we have a function. Because Sam is only assigned to one element from the range, Lou, Joe's only assigned to one element from the range, Mary, and Bob's only assigned to one element, K. Now, actually, this is also a one-to-one -one function because Lou is only assigned to Sam, Mary's only assigned to Joe, and K's only assigned to Bob. So not only is this a function relationship, it is a one-to-one -one function. Now, if we said Sam, if we paired Sam with Lou and Sam with Mary and Joe with K, we would not have a function because Sam, who is an element of the domain, is assigned to do two different elements in the range. Sam is assigned to Lou, and Sam is assigned to Mary. So we only have a relation here, not a function. Now if we paired them this way, where Sam was assigned to Lou, Joe was assigned to Lou, and Bob assigned to Mary, we would have a function since Sam's only assigned to one element, Joe's only assigned to one element, Bob's only assigned to one element, but it would not be a one-to-one -one function because if you go the other way, you can see that Lou, an element from the range, is assigned to two different elements in the domains because Lou is assigned to Sam and Lou is assigned to Joe. So let's look at some sets. Here are three sets. This set is a function because one from the domain is only assigned to two, three from the domain is only assigned to four, 5 from the domain is only assigned to 6. And also, if you go the other way, 2 here from the range is only assigned to 1, 4 is assigned to only to 3, and 6 is assigned only to 5. So this would be a 1 to 1 function. Uh, here, uh, 1 is assigned to 2, 2 is assigned only to 2, and 3 is assigned only to 2. So this would be a function, but it's not 1 to 1 because notice the 2 from the range is assigned to multiple domain values. And then this one is not a function because one from the domain is assigned to two different values from the range. One is assigned to two and one is assigned to three. Now, linear functions are actually, uh, most linear functions are one-to-one -one functions. Uh, if you plugged in an x value, you would only get one y value here so each x is assigned to only one y value. And if you plugged in a y value and solved for x, you would only get one answer for x. So each y value is assigned to only one x value. Now, y equal x squared plus 3 is a function. It's just not one to one. It's a function because if you plug any number in for x, you'll only get one y value. So each x is assigned to only one y value. But you can plug a number in for y and get multiple x values. For example, if you let y equal 7, you'll find that when x is negative 2, y would be 7, and when x is positive 2, y would be 7. So y equals 7 is assigned to two different domain values, negative 2 and 2. And then this is an example of a relation that's not a function, because if you were to say let x equal 3, and you said, okay, the absolute value of what number equals 3, well, then you would have two answers, negative 3 and 3. So, so the absolute value of negative 3 would equal 3, and the absolute value of positive 3 would equal 3. So x equal 3 is assigned to two different y values, negative 3 and positive 3. I'll conclude this video with a, just, just a quick note about independent and dependent variables. Functions generally have an independent variable and a dependent variable. For example, the function y equals 3x minus 2 
has an independent variable of x and a dependent uh, variable of y. We could also write the function using the function notation f of x equals 3x minus 2, where x is the independent variable and f of x is the dependent variable. Some other examples here is function notation for s of t. s of t equals 3t squared minus t plus 2, where the independent variable is t, the dependent variable is s of t. And then here is f of z equals 2z to the fifth minus the absolute value of z, where the independent variable is z and the dependent variable is f of z. And so the next video, we'll talk about the domain of functions.